What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in a living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, please jump on over to DJLittleRock.com. Come on by. (laughs) The water's fine. Uh, I don't know. If it's a pool party, maybe the water's fine. Check availability and get a free price quote. And maybe you can have me at your next event. If you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Use the hashtag What Makes You Famous and find it everywhere. What makes you smarter? Well, let's find out. Let's do it together right here on the program. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, 10 things you need to know today for Tuesday, February 11th, 2020. 10 things you need to know today. One, New Hampshire primary voters hit the polls. The New Hampshire Democratic presidential primary got underway early Tuesday when Dixville, Notch, and two other tiny townships voted just after midnight. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg led in Dixville Notch, while Senator Amy Klobuchar got the most midnight votes overall, with eight. She was followed by Senators Elizabeth Warren, Democrat Massachusetts, and Bernie Sanders, Independent Vermont, with four. Sanders led CNN's last tracking poll before the vote with support of 29% of likely primary voters. Former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg fresh off a razor-thin victory over Sanders in the still-contested Iowa caucuses, trailed with 22%, followed by former Vice President Joe Biden at 11%, Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat Massachusetts, with 10%, and Senator Amy Klobuchar, Democrat Minnesota, with 7%. This is according to CNN and the Boston Globe. Number two. Trump criticizes Democrats in New Hampshire rally. President Trump traveled to New Hampshire Monday on the eve of the state's presidential primary to hold his first rally since the Senate acquitted him in his impeachment trial. Trump sought to both energize his base and rattle Democrats, noting that Republicans could influence the vote in the state's open primary. Quote, a lot of Republicans will vote for the weakest candidate. End quote. He said, Quote, my only problem is I'm trying to figure out who is the candidate. I think they're all weak. End quote. Trump also stirred up fears that helped him win the 2016 primary in the state, warning that some undocumented immigrants were, quote, murderers, rapists, and some other things. End quote. Trump faces a long shot challenge in his own primary from former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld. This is according to the New York Times. Number three, U.S. charges four Chinese military members in Equifax hack. The Justice Department on Monday charged four members of the Chinese military with hacking Equifax credit reporting agency records and stealing personal data belonging to more than 145 million Americans. The 2017 breach compromised information, including names addresses, social security numbers, and driver's license numbers. The suspects, all members of the Chinese military's People Liberation Army, also allegedly stole database designs and other Equifax trade secrets. The hackers allegedly gained access to the company's computers by exploiting a software vulnerability. Quote, the scale of the theft was staggering, end quote. Attorney General William Barr said the accused hackers are based in China, whose embassy made no immediate comment. This is according to the Associated Press. Number four, China coronavirus deaths exceed 1,000. China's death toll from coronavirus continued to surge on Tuesday, rising above 1,000. Chinese state media reported China's Hubei province epicenter of the epidemic 
reported more than 100 new deaths on Tuesday, a one-day record. The number of cases in mainland China reached about 42,300, bringing the global to more than 42,700. To slow the spread of the flu-like virus, Chinese authorities have imposed partial lockdowns on more than 80 cities and even restricted access to some residential areas. The crisis has dragged down crude oil prices as it reduced China's demand for oil by up to 3 million barrels per day. This is according to the South China Morning Post and CNBC. China's Qi emerges to visit coronavirus facility. Qi Jinping, who has been largely out of view during his country's coronavirus epidemic, made a public appearance Monday at a Beijing frontline coronavirus facility. Qi's absence over the last two weeks as the outbreak's death toll mounted had triggered questions about whether he was trying to avoid blame for the rapid rise of infections. Quote, someone has to take responsibility for the ongoing spread of the coronavirus, and he may not want to be that person. End quote. George Washington University China expert Bruce Dixon said last week, Chi, wearing a medical face mask, said the situation was, quote, grim, end quote, but told officials they would beat the flu-like virus, calling the outbreak a, quote, major test, end quote, for China's disease control system. This is according to the Washington Post and South China Morning Post. Number coronavirus cases spike on quarantined cruise ship. The number of coronavirus infections on a quarantined cruise ship in Japan nearly doubled on Monday, reaching 135. The 65 new patients included as many as 11 Americans. The rapid spread of the outbreak on the Diamond Princess prompted panicked pleas for help from some of the 3,700 passengers and crew members stuck on board. Quote, very soon we will all be infected, end quote, said Benay Kumar Sarkar, an Indian national on the 1,000-member crew. Passengers are confined to individual staterooms, but crew members live up to four in a room and have to circulate to deliver meals, increasing exposure to possible infection. Public health experts have started questioning the quarantine strategy imposed February 5th, with one saying it had created, quote, almost like a shooting gallery for the virus, end quote. This is according to the Washington Post. Number than 100 U.S. soldiers diagnosed with brain injuries from Iran attack. The number of U.S. soldiers who suffered traumatic brain injury from Iran's missile attack on their Iraq base last month has risen to more than 100, Reuters reported on Monday, citing U.S. officials. The figure marks a jump of more than 50% from last month when 64 such injuries were reported. The Pentagon did not immediately comment on the report, but it previously has said numbers can lag because it can take time for service members to report the injuries or experience the symptoms, which include headaches, dizziness, nausea, and extreme sensitivity to light. Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said last month that most of the cases were mild. This is according to Reuters. Number eight, prosecutors recommend up to nine-year sentence for Roger Stone. Federal prosecutors on Monday recommended a seven- to nine-year prison sentence for President Trump's longtime advisor, Roger Stone. A jury in November found Stone guilty on all seven charges he faced, including lying to Congress, obstruction of justice, and witness tampering. He is scheduled to be sentenced February 20th. Stone was convicted of lying to hide his role in the 2016 campaign effort to get information from WikiLeaks about damaging information on Hillary Clinton that had been stolen from Democrats by Russian military hackers. Stone's defense team on Monday asked that he be sentenced to probation because of his age, 67, and clean record. Trump tweeted that Stone was being treated unfairly 
saying, quote, cannot allow this miscarriage of justice, end quote. This is according to the Washington Post and Donald J. Trump. Number nine, North Korea violated sanctions with nuclear missile work. North Korea continued to develop its nuclear and ballistic missile programs last year, violating United Nations sanctions, Reuters reported Monday, citing a confidential UN report. Quote, in 2019, the Democrat Republic of Korea, DPRK, did not halt its illicit nuclear and ballistic missile programs, which it continued to enhance in violation of Security Council resolutions, end quote. The independent UN sanction monitors wrote. The 67-page report also said North Korea defied restrictions by importing refined petroleum and exporting $370 million worth of coal. North Korea has faced UN sanctions since 2006. This is according to Reuters. Number 10. Oscars draw smallest audience ever. The 92nd Academy Awards on Sunday drew an estimated 23.6 million viewers, the smallest audience in the show's history. The numbers reported Monday showed. This is down from the 29.6 million people who tuned into the Oscars in 2019, which was the first time the ratings for the show had improved in five years. The previous low for the Oscars was 26.5 million viewers in 2018. This continues the trend of award show ratings slipping after the most recent Emmys, Golden Globes, and Grammys all shed viewership. Sunday's Academy Awards saw Parasite, which grossed $165 million at the worldwide box office, surprisingly take Best Picture in a history set over 1917. This year's Oscars was also the second in a row with no host. This is according to Variety. That's 10 things you need to know today for Tuesday, February 11th. 2020. Thank you for listening to What Makes You Smarter. If you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. This is Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, I encourage you to follow What Makes You Smarter on social media. Find it on Facebook at What Makes You Smarter, Instagram at What Makes You Smarter, Twitter at Smarter What, and YouTube. Username Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite. Learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag, What Makes You Famous. Call 501-470-6386 and leave a message to set up a time for What Makes You Famous. Support What Makes You Smarter podcast using the PayPal, paypal.me forward slash keys dan email info at radio what.com what makes you smarter is a production of keys dan enterprises incorporated at keys dan.com thank you for listening thank you for listening thank you for listening